I was going out with a German woman at the time, yeah. and we kissed by the wall, wow. and he saw that from the window of Hansa Studios. Are you kidding and, me and, now? and he wrote, it's in the lyrics. Personal questions. I pick those to you ask pick you. pick those to ask me. And the white ones are me asking you. You have the nicer color. I'm oh. a little jealous. <laughs> and these questions are general questions. For the both of us. There will be joker questions. So I can make up my own question and ask you whatever. You understand? Yeah, yeah I got it. <laughs> Let's start it. Of everything that you have ever lost, which item would you most like to recover? Of course, there are things that you lose in life. But I mean, so what? You know, one time I lost my mother's marriage ring. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And she taught me a nice lesson at that time. She, she was married to my dad and, and uh, we were a happy family. But uh, my parents, they didn't wear their rings. Maybe their fingers grew too big, I don't know. <laughs> but at some point they took them off. And of course, I as a young girl went into her, her jewelry box and, and, and took out the ring and asked her, may I wear the ring? It's so nice. And she said, yeah, yeah, go ahead. Then I went playing on the playground, and when I came back, the ring was gone. Oh. I knew I have lost something symbolic, very important, something that you can't just buy again. And then I went to her and told her finally, and she said, you know, and I mean, I could see that she was a bit um, shocked for a minute, for a second mm -hmm. only, uh, because then she answered, you know what, don't worry, it's just a ring. It's really just a ring. It's a sad thing you lost it, but it's not the most important thing in the world. Mm. The most important thing in the world is you're here, we're together, and you can feel the love. And I think that taught me a lesson to not really miss things once I lose them, even though, you know, there are some things mm. I would like to have back, but it, it, doesn't, it doesn't matter. People that I'm missing, there are a lot sure. of people that I'm missing that I can't get back. These are the mm. things that I think about rather than items. It's funny, I, I lost my wedding ring. Yes. I was in Central Park with my wife. Mm -hmm. We both had identical rings. They were extra wide mm -hmm. and made of gold and very pretty. And we went on the carousel <laughs> and I opened my arms out wide <laughs> and the ring flew off my finger. It was a little too big. Yeah. We never found it. We yeah. were on our hands of and knees. Of course. Never, and it, it was there somewhere, but yeah. there was a lot of shrubbery. Yeah and I would have to cut things down, but yeah. you know, I, I loved that ring. Yeah. And kind of, you know, a year later we were divorced. <laughs> really? <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, okay, so you think that was a sign or what? It no. was in the cards. Yeah. yeah, yeah, maybe it was in the cards, for, but for other reasons yeah. probably. Yeah, so really, no, missing an item is not my thing. Mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. I can continue asking you a question? Yes, now? you may. All right. What is the most important song you produced? Well, I think it might be Heroes wow. by David Bowie. Unbelievable. Because that song is a beautiful song. It's a beautiful song. Uh, there's a, a history behind it. It was, uh, I, I, I was going out with a German woman at the time and we uh, were walked by the wall yeah. and we kissed by the wall. Wow. And he saw that from the window of Hansa Studios. Are you kidding and, me and, now? And he wrote, it's in the lyrics of this song. I saw them standing by the wall is... Uh, Are you serious? I'm dead serious You know, I'm having that. goosebumps right now because your answer is touching in a way because of course it reminds me of Berlin. The heroes, the song reminds me of where I'm from. I was born and raised in Berlin. Yeah. And it's like a Berlin hymn to me, even though it's a worldwide hymn, but because of the time that David Bowie spent in Berlin, um, he's very much connected to, to the city, I, yeah. I feel at least. And I grew up right by the wall next to Hansa Studio. And you know, for me, the Hansa Studio was really out of reach. I, I went by there every day with my friends, but it wasn't for us. So we admired it. We admired everyone that, that um, was able to produce in the studios, people like you. Yeah. 
And uh, so it's, it's, a, it's a real interesting um, um, question and, and, and answer that you that well, you Well, it was a very unique studio, too, as you uh, opened the window and you faced the Berlin the Wall. The wall, and everything what was behind it, which and was nothing. And the red guards were looking exactly. at us yes, in the binoculars. Yes, I know. The binoculars were about that big. You know? I remember, because we, we, we couldn't look from the studio, obviously, but there were all these um, platforms right by the wall, right? You, yes. you, could, you could climb the platforms and because we used to play ball against the wall, we spent a lot of time there. Wow. And we always sat on these platforms looking into the east and there were these guards and then nothing, yes. nothing. <laughs>